Hi, I'd like to welcome everyone to the Aquaware 4.0 general overview video. In this video, we will be going over the basics of Aquaware from a very high level. Um, for those of you that are familiar with Aquaware 3.1, you'll notice that the interface is very similar, although we have many more tabs here across the top. So we're going to start, when Aquaware starts up, it comes into the Resource Center. This is um, pretty much gives you full functionality um, to everything in the Aquaware world. So starting from the left and going to the right, we have the online resources. The first button is the MDM website. We just um, put up a new website with a lot of content and it will continue to grow um, as time goes on. The next button in the online resources is the Aquaware 4.0 community. This is a community that will definitely grow over time where people can log into their account on the MDM site and share you know, their experiences, ask questions within the Aquaware 4.0 community. Um, there's a really good forum in there which has grown over the last seven years and uh, will continue to grow well into the future. The next, um, in the next part of the resource panel is we have the usage documentation. The first button offers the uh, Aquaware 4.0 usage instructions. This is an online PDF which will be updated over time with comments, any known issues. Um, so each time you click on that, it will bring you to the latest version and the versions will increment as I update them. The next button is the intent index. The intent index lists 700 plus pre-canned intents across um, 12 categories. You'll be able to search very, very quickly for what you want within the PDF format. The next button is the video tutorials. We have online tutorials. We have a beginner section, a mode selection section, and the advanced feature section. Now, I'll probably be updating more of these videos before the software is finally released. The next section is what we call the mode selection on here. Uh, we now have four modes, automatic, manual, standard is the newest one, and of course standby. These are all explained in detail in the Aquaware 4.0 manual. The next palette is the logging tools. From here, anything you do within Aquaware is logged and categorized. You'll notice that the history menu is now completely different. It's much more user friendly. It's well organized. It's just not a text file anymore. Um, so again, here, anything you do within Aquaware gets logged and you can always come back and take a look at it. The next section is what we call skins. Skins are pretty cool. This, these allow you to change the look and the function of Aquaware. Now this has absolutely no bearing on the functionality within the software, but you can change you know, the look and the feel of Aquaware to kind of suit your taste. It will be saved when you exit out of the software. and. Um, it'll always, uh, you know, you can always go back and change it. We use Blueprint as the default. So, again, uh, moving right along, here are the intent tabs um, across all of the categories. And the first thing you're going to notice is over here the water control palette. This is the same across all of the intent categories. Here you can select simply by left clicking and selecting your power level for your intent, or you can type it in here. Um, to whatever percentage you want. Here we have the water preparation button, the user preparation button, and the nucleate water source button. Now again, um, these are all very, very well explained within the manual, and if you are familiar with Aquaware, you will know exactly how this works. Um, these are the intent menus. You can simply hover over them to get an idea of what they are. You can come over here and you can click on the drop down. And then let me actually go over here. You can click on the drop down, and this explains exactly what the intent is in detail. And again, this is all within the intent user manual, so you'll never have a problem going back and looking up something. Um, under each palette, there's a little drop down box. This gives a quick description of what the particular palette is that you're looking at. Again, this is all outlined in the manual. Uh, the Aquaware 4.0 manual is beautifully written, uh, much, much easier to navigate through than the 3.1. Um, and again, then we come to the Advanced Features tab. Over here, uh, again, from left to right, we have the Water Palette. 
we have user intent cards. This is new to Aquaware 4.0. This is a really cool feature. This allows the user to put the intent into a card and bring it anywhere they want simply by moving their attention from the card into the water. Here we have quantum layering session. This allows a person to build a quantum layering session. So what is that? Basically, I've given people the ability to put up to seven intents into the target water. And the algorithm that runs in the software layers the structure of the water, the programming of the water, um, up to seven. Okay, so this is huge. So you can build, uh, create, and share these QLS files with your friends and family and simply email them to them. Um, and again, this is explained in great detail within the manual and the QLS or the quantum layering session video. Next, we have the custom intent sessions. This is radically advanced, <clears throat> thinking way outside the box. But basically, I give the user the ability to type in their own intent, um, select an image to go with it. The intent is translated into a number that source understands, thereby allowing you to consciously direct it into any target water. So again, you're not just limited to 700 plus pre-canned intents. You can now build and create your own. You can also create QLS files from your custom intent. So we're giving you a lot of functionality here. Um, as you build a custom intent session, it would be put into this gallery, which is not populated here. So you can very quickly come back and just click on the image and it will run water prep, user prep, and then your intent and any saved dot placements that you have. The last feature in Aquaware 4.0 is what we call Brilliant Minds. Effectively, what I've done is I've taken 24 of the most brilliant minds in all of humanity and what they've brought to the table, captured their frequencies in here, and allowed people to consciously direct everything they were in life into a glass of water. You drink the water, you bring about those changes internally. Um, we've done a lot of testing with this feature, and <laughs> i got to tell you folks, it's uh, literally mind-blowing. Okay, so that covers pretty much the entire tab section. Um, down here on the bottom left you'll notice uh, the mode selection that you're in. The next indicator is telling you that Aquaware is ready. On the bottom right we have a quick button for standby mode. Up here we have the about button, just a little bit of information. Over here we have the medical disclaimer, which you have to agree to when you do install Aquaware. We have a quick drop down for mode selections. And then we have the main menu about Aquaware, the website, the community, again, the medical disclaimer, and exiting Aquaware. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this general overview of Aquaware 4.0. Thank you.